Hello my wonderful little people and we are back in the world of Forza Horizon 4 but I am not on the regular map today because as you can see today is a very special day. I have gone in and already done the trial so you don't have to see me absolutely curse other people online for quitting halfway through and ruining it for everyone. I have already gone in and done the trial to unlock this, the number 94 Volkswagen IDR Pikes Peak Edition. And to say that this thing is hardcore, oh, hello. Go away with your plebe Ferrari. I am in a full charge to the peak, pard pardon the pun. Hill climb racer. Now, I know this thing isn't gonna be amazing in a straight line i already understand that because that rear wing alone is bigger than a p50 so what i'm gonna do is for such an extreme hill climb i bought it here to fortune island i didn't call it storm island get in so i'm gonna see what this thing can do because as you know this is amazing at corners but I just want to see just how amazing. It's already uh, quite extreme. Hi, Ace the Pilot. So, instantly from zero to 100, it's got pulled. But from about 120 miles per hour, it sort of dies a bit. It would help if I didn't drive it. So, it struggles. Yeah, it's, it's struggling hard. So let's go in and see what we are dealing with. We have got 670 brake horsepower. That is not bad. And it just weighs over a metric ton. Displacement? Zero. Uh, <laughs> and it's got a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. So let's go in and see if we can find a good race that utilizes that road. Here is my track of choice the needle descent now i know here it's a championship but i'm gonna go to the normal event and see what this can do it's classed under no I i've got to make a custom event i'll be back and we're back the needle descent let's see what we've got because this is an open and if they just put the forward focuses again i'm going to cry right here we go we have got focuses a center oh no i haven't seen one of them panamera sorry for the yawn i'm quite tight uh push panamera honda civic from no full focus no full focus and then i'll get ct I am quite a higher spec, so I should decimate them on the corners, but on the straights, they're going to walk away. So let's see. Oh, good start. And I've already ballsed it up. No, no, you, you. No, no. Take two. Move, Civic. Well, I can hear that R8 running a racing V12. That's not fair. Although, look at this grip. I have not let off yet, but now I have to break. But Jesus, wet. Oh. Yeah, it certainly works better at high speed because at low speed, 
it's got the corner and ability of a monk who's just celebrated his best friend's birthday too heavily with a hundred year old bottle of vodka. Although I say that and it is really a grip of boy at a speed. I know some of my friends, especially Sweden, can do this a lot better than I can, but if this can make me look this good on a track, God knows what it's going to do for them. See, they're all still stuck on the hairpins whilst I'm... Oh, no, I'm coming to a straight bit. Here comes my Achilles tendon. I'm, I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. And if half of you don't know where that's from, get a movie education or at least a TV education. I just see it behind me! Who the hell was that? Oh, the Senna. Okay. Well, that certainly is quick. A 209.5. Well, let's see what we can do at the upgrade shop. So now that we're here in the auto show, let's see. First, I want to have a look around this car because just look at it. It's so extreme. You got the little, uh, I can't say the real title, but we'll call him the Ghostbusters Marshmallow Man. But if you don't know what it is, I, I swear you need, you need an education. Oh, um. Well, the door just doesn't open, it comes out. Uh, is there any moving parts? Um. There's. There's an escape hatch. There's a James Bond. I hate to say it. There's a James Bond style ejector seat hatch in the top. Okay. Uh, I love it how it says charge to the peak. That's just so cool. Uh, got a tiny little shark fin there. Not really sure why they didn't make it bigger. Meh. And, well, speaking of big, here's the freaking double rear spoiler. Also, the license plate on this, it's a print. It's not an actual plate, if you can see it next to uh, the Volkswagen badge there. So, uh, going around, it looks pretty standard. You know, for a, a look, I say it looks pretty standard, it's insane aero. But, you know, for a racer, we'll see what can do. Oh, the door just popped back on. Uh, right, upgrades and tuning. Let's see what we can do. Right, oh, you can do the motor and battery. Uh, right, this takes us from 670 horsepower to a thousand and six horsepower instantly. That just might neutralize our top speed issue and actually make it a competitor, but it does catapult us into X class, which is worrying. Uh, springs and dampers. Uh, well, you could put it on rally so that it would make it a bit more competitive in other areas, but I don't. Mind you, it is electric, so it would have good. Oh, we'll drive because it's got an engine in the front and an engine in the back. So it is fully fledged. The tyres, obviously, it's already on race, but you can replace it with rally for some reason. Uh, tyre width. Oh, yes, please. Some in the front. And up to 335 in the rear. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. Uh, lateral G's 3.5, holy crap. Uh, I put on 6 kilos in weight. Don't judge me, I had a, I snuck a chocolate bar on board. But I gained so much horsepower. Mind you, 
in terms of electric cars, that's not that much because the Rimac has 2,000 horsepower already. So, well, 1,900, I know you're going to say, but still, that's pretty much two of these. Oh, you can do the gears, although it's pretty already maxed at 175. Oh, well, let's see if this has had any change to the performance. Obviously, 300 horsepower will have a change, but we'll see what can be done. Okay, instantly more wheel spin. Yeah, yeah, it, it's made a difference. It's made a big difference. Oh, but it still dies at about 150. Also, this rain isn't helping. Go around that so I don't have to deal with the drift run. Yeah, um upgrading this thing ruins it. Alright, enough messing around. Right, we are back at the needle descent and I have made a slight tweak because I was sick of the focuses and the TTs, just everyone is. So I have limited it to its own class, which is an extreme track toy, because why wouldn't it be? And there's quite an interesting selection. There's an Aerial Atom uh, Zonda Fortress Edition, for some reason the Drift Viper, TVL Speed 12. That is actually a heavily underrated car. Not many people drive that and it is a really good car. Uh, Pagan Zonda, a Radical, that's quite some competition. Another Zonda, Drift, Drift, and Pure Speed. <gasps> Let's go. So, I am considerably higher if I don't win this. Oh. Okay, the instant lunge ability I had without worrying for the corners has gone. It, it spins if you try to do that now. And this aerial atom is, uh, well, it's making a mockery of us. And it's so much sm Ah! Yeah, that extra power has ruined the uh, biteability of the tyres because now it's doing what all electric cars do and spin around. This atom will piss off. I'm bullying you, I'm bullying you. I fell in the... Ah. See, this is really bad because this is supposed to be my section and he's just gonna walk away. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't change the paint job, I like the official race paint job. What's wrong with an official race paint job? All right. I'm, I'm pegged. I'm pegged. Come on. See, at that speed it has grip. So if you don't want to crash in this car, just keep on going 160 and you'll be fine. Great. What happened? Oh, I really screwed over that atom. Um, sorry, bud. But that was a struggle to win. And I was only, what, 0.9 of a second faster with an extra 300 horsepower because I was 
feathering the throttle so much to try and stop it from wheel spinning. And it's so wide with that big ass rear wing, you can't do anything. I mean, the ultimate look, that's a big rear wing, but that thing, you could sail a medium sized ocean liner. Oh, let's see how bad this is. Hey, some are actually decent. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. I've got one. I've just noticed as well, that little green light at the bottom is a battery safety indicator. Now, if you're not familiar with that, that basically means in a short, well, layman's term, if you will, that if that battery indicator light at the bottom goes red, it means the battery has gone wonky inside the car and it's actually connecting with the exo frame of the car. So if you're, let's say, let's say if you break down and that light turns red, if you take one step onto the actual floor, AKA the ground, and one uh, bit of you is still touching the car, you'll get full on electrocuted. That's why you saw a Sebastian Vettel do a little fairy hop onto the ground and I say fairy as in the uh, woodland term I'm not a basher here so don't even try that with me I'll just block you uh, that's why he did a little hot off his Ferrari because he uh, would have been electrocuted I'm not even saying that that's a bad thing because when it comes to Sebastian Vettel he could only win with Red Bull and as soon as they had a one key year, he abandoned ship and ruined it. But anyway, we're getting off the point, let's see the interior. Oh, oh it's full on, maybe early LMP2 style in here with the nice little dash. I mean, that, that screen is LMP2 or even LMP1 grade. Uh, but mind you, the regulation is changing soon, so who knows what that will look like. Uh, you've got the inboard shocks which is nice uh, apart from that see you look you've got the massive fire button you've got all the electrical cutoff switch I mean look at that for electrical cabling that right there is F1 grade and beyond because so much power is going through it because the simple the matter of fact is if you want an electric car to go faster you increase the battery size and the motor size. That's literally all you can do. You pump it up with enough juice until it's ready to pop. So my final thoughts as I fly through the air into the woodlands of this car is I want to like this car. I really want to like it, but it just doesn't have the substance for me. To actually make me like it. It's not making me think I will use you every day. It's not doing that for me. Uh, it's an amazing car, don't get me wrong, but a missed opportunity. Very much so, unfortunately, and that makes me very sad. But anyway though, uh, I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button and turn on post notifications if you want to see more of me. You know, if you want to see more of me, it'll be quite weird, but yeah, I'll be happy to oblige in more videos if that's what you're asking of me. Uh, if you have a video suggestion or you want me to check out a car, obviously I'll be doing the new cars as they come out, but uh, I will check them as that guy just ruins a tree. I will check them out, I'll road test them as I do here. You know, not all of the ones that we think are gonna be good, are gonna be good. But then again, the other half that we aren't looking forward to are gonna be great. But anyway though, until the very next time, I thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.